Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kumar channel. Myself Dr. Shiva Jyoti. Today we will see on the varicose veins. Let us see in this video what is varicose veins and what exercise should we do for the varicose veins and what are the precautions or what are the things we should avoid when if you have the varicose veins. Now before going further, let us see the normal structure of the circulatory system. We have the circulatory system where there will be the arteries and veins will be there. Arteries is the one which will be carrying the blood from the heart to the different organ systems in our body and veins are the one which will be carrying the blood towards the heart. The veins contains the walls which will be allowing for the one way flow of the blood that is from the extremities towards the heart or from the circulation will be such that the blood flowing from the all the systems to the heart. So, their walls whenever there is a damage to the walls or walls becomes weak then this will not allow the blood to flow into the towards the heart and there will be a back pooling of the blood in the veins and when there is a back pooling of the blood in the veins this will causes the swelling of the veins. So, this is nothing but the varicose veins usually the varicose veins are seen in the legs. Let us see with the symptoms of the varicose veins swelling of the ankle, foot and the legs will be seen, muscle soreness and uh, cramps, muscle cramps will also be seen over the legs, itching over the veins. Apart from that, there will be the, uh, the person will feel heaviness in their legs and they will get very easily fatigued. Now, who are all prone for these varicose veins? Age about the 50 years and the pregnancy and the occupations which are requiring for a prolonged standing like the teachers, salesmen and the traffic uh, police, uh, they are more prone for the varicose veins. And whoever is having a family history of the varicose veins and one more uh, risk factor is the obesity. Now let us see with the exercises, what exercises we should do for the varicose veins. Now the first exercise. In the first exercise, we have to go for the ankle upward and the downward movements as well as the rotation of the ankle in the clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. Upward, downward, upward, downward and ankle movement in the clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction rotations. You have to repeat this exercise for the 10 times. Next exercise lift the leg up and hold it in the same position for the at least for the 5 to 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Now repeat the same with on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By lifting the leg like this and holding in that position, that will help in reducing the swelling as well as increasing the circulation towards the heart. Next exercise with the TheraBand. This is easily available in all the surgical shops. You can get it over there. What you have to do is, you have to keep the TheraBand onto the ankle and lift your leg up in the A in the same way what we have seen in the last exercise and after that what you have to do is go for the downward movement of your ankle so that it helps in pumping of the blood from the calf you have to do in this manner repeat the same thing on the opposite side next exercise is Come to the side lying position. Now you have to lift your leg to the sideways. Hold it for the 5 counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and get it down. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Repeat on the other side also. You can do this exercise for the 10 repetitions. Next exercise is elevating our legs by placing our legs on the 2 to 3 pillows. In this manner, you can place the pillows and put your legs onto that. 
and lie down in this position for the 2 to 3 minutes and you can extend the time also and you can add the ankle movements in the same position ok just observe what I am doing. Do the ankle upward and downward movements. You can do that for the 10 repetitions. And you can do the rotations also in this position. Add the rotations also in this both the clockwise and anti clockwise direction. Next exercise is for stretching of this muscles which are on the posterior aspect of the thigh. So, what we have to do is sit in this long sitting position. Okay. Now, try to reach your great toe with your hands. And when you are doing this, make sure that your knee will be straight, touching on to the supporting surface, not coming up when you are doing it. Next exercise is squatting. If you have any problem in the balancing, then keep a chair onto the side so that when you are doing the, you can take the help of the chair or when you feel that your balance is out, then you can uh, shift onto the chair. You have to go for the squatting position. Maintain this position for the 5 to 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come back to the normal. Next exercise is forward lunges and sideward lunges. Okay. Now we will see with the forward lunges. Just place the one leg in front of the other leg and now shift your weight onto the forward leg. So that that helps in stretching of the backward leg. Hold this position for the 5 to 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get back to the normal position. The same I am showing on the other leg. Keep the leg forward and now shift your weight onto the forward leg. Now, here my muscles which are other than the calf muscles are getting stretched. Next is sideward lunges. So, for that you have to place your leg. See the way I am facing the leg. The leg will be facing outwards. Okay. Now move this leg away from the body. Okay. Now shift your weight onto the leg which is pointing onto the outward side. Okay. Bend it. Maintain this position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come back to the normal. Okay. The same way for the other leg. Shift your leg and Make sure that your foot is, your greater toe is pointing on to the opposite side. Now move the leg away from the body, this one also. Now shift your weight onto the that side so that that helps in stretching of the muscles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next exercise is single leg heel raise. So for this we can take the support of the chair or any bed, whatever is available near to you. Okay. What you have to do is lift the one leg bend it and now you have to take the weight on the toes only that means you have to lift off your heel you have to lift your heel maintain that position for the five counts then get it down one two three four five get it down again one two three four five get it down now i'll show this on the other leg also Bend, now shift your weight onto the toes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get it down, again the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next exercise, double leg raise, chair sub, uh, with the help of the support of the chair, you can do this exercise, just lift your heels then hold this position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Next exercise is in the sitting position you have to raise the heel and raise the toes. Okay. First toe rise. Then heel rise. Get it down. Now go for the toe rise then heel rise when you are doing this you can count it for the five counts and keep in the position the same position okay. one two three four five one two three four five 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज साइक्लिंग लाइड ऑन एंड डू द बेंडिंग एंड स्ट्रेटनिंग ऑफ द लेग्स एज इफ यू आर साइक्लिंग डू इट फॉर द टेन रेपटेशन नेक्स्ट वन इज रिवर्स साइक्लिंग नो यू हेव डन फॉर द फॉर्वर्ड साइक्लिंग नेक्स्ट इज यू गो इन द रिवर्स मैनर डू इट नो यस Okay, this is reverse cycling. Now the next exercise is paddling. Place the hands behind the head. Now what you have to do is you have to touch the opposite leg with the opposite hand. Now do it for the right hand and the left leg. Okay, try to touch it and come hold that position for the five counts: one, two, three, four, five. Get back. next with the other hand and the other leg 1 2 3 4 5 again once more 1 2 3 4 5 you have to repeat this on the both the sides 1 2 3 4 5 next exercise is legs on to the wall lie down and place your legs onto the wall and hold that position for the 1 to 2 minutes this helps in reducing the swelling keep it for the initially for the 1 to 2 minutes later you can increase the timing as per the con your convenience now we have seen what the exercise should we do for the varicose vein apart from this what the other precaution should we take let us see with that the main thing is uh, you sh- whenever there is a swelling is present you wear the compression stockings these compression stockings are very much easily available in the market and avoid cross leg sitting avoid tight clothing and do the exercises as shown in the video whenever you are sleeping you can place the legs on 3 to 4 pillows so that this elevation helps in the removal of the swelling keep practicing these exercises for the better results if you like the video share it and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video